Nope, it's gone forever. Come on. Change. Change channel. Oh my god. I can't change the channel because there's freaking stacks of shit in front of the TV. Oh boy! Um... Get up, it's racist. There we go. Will it be excessively loud, though? No. This seems about normal. Yeah. A cat is fine, too. A cat is most certainly not. What fine. the fuck is this? <laughs> Oh, is this the dead one? That's okay. probably the dead one, yeah. And cat immediately fucking bites my foot. Good. Stop that! Cut that out. Hey! 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 What? What's he doing? He's getting ready to pounce on you and I'm distracting him. Can I, like, put my foot down? No. Eh. He was chasing his tail for about a quarter of a second. Almost he really all hates his collar. He keeps eating his collar. Almost every one of my socks now has holes in it because he keeps freaking clawing at them. You really gotta start kicking him. I mean, or stabbing him, but whatever works. Uh, no, I don't think I'm gonna do any background garbage in this one because I'm actually gonna be like going to non orange planets. All, you know, one of, one them, of them. Yeah. Oh, immediately pointing up. So, yeah, there's, uh. I'm gonna be avoiding progress here and basically just going around and collecting garbage. So, um, our first stop is Sky Town so that I can get the May up. Unfortunately, that is also orange. Yeah, not as bad, but it is definitely orange. Now, I actually don't remember where the map is, the but I Maya. think it's in this section. It's, yeah, it's the further back part. Cat, you're gonna like choke yourself to death one of these days trying to eat your own collar. Oh wait, no, wait. I can't tell. Maybe. Mr. Krabs is one thick man. Lammy. See that crazy. Orange. Would would you like to do the fucking transparency test and find out how orange it is? Well, I mean, to be fair, the last one was also removing red. So, it depends on, like, how specific we want to be. Like Chia said, it is more of a pale gold than orange. It's just, it's close enough, like... Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, if we applied the exact same filter without changing it, it would still replace, like, most of it. Not as much as on the Pirate Homeworld, but still a lot of it. Okay, so we're going to the show. Yes? Oh my god, what the fuck is <laughs> he doing? It's not the first time he's done that. That's, like, the fifth or sixth time I've seen him do that. It's his collar. He hates it. We, we should probably take it off. Like, he gets spooked by it, and he tries to eat it, and then fails, and he can't... Yeah, see? Like, look at him. He's just trying to bite his collar. Okay. Now, the the problem with this is you have to actually reach him, hey, and he's being an absolute spaz. Here. Good Apollo, I'm Burning Star 4, Volume 1, from Fear Through the Eyes of Madness. Good. Man, this was so effective, I can hardly believe it. No, no. Man, this pointer is accurate. You made me look bad. Coheed and Cambria, is that the name 
of the artist that did that, because I have no idea what that is. Like, it's just a stupid name that I use once in a thing. I feel like I'm already going the way wrong way, despite, like, yeah, like, what? Oh, okay, I think I, yeah, I don't even know if I can go that way. Oh, broken elevator. Watch where you're going, you fool. Oh. Why? Why was that so dramatic? Well, now they have to die just out of principle. Did you get the collar off? Yeah, I did. He's still having a time. Yeah, but now it's because he's playing with something else. Okay, are we at least heading the right way? Well, uh, maybe it wasn't the collar. I like I've seen him spaz out specifically trying to like get the collar off him like six times. And that's what he was doing earlier. What? I would lift your feet. Yeah, I see I'm doing the swiggity swiggity. Okay, I see I think I'm this area is just way too goddamn confusing. The way these rooms wrap around each other just doesn't make any sense to me. It works to... it, like, makes sense to me. Like, you don't want to think of these structures as circular structures. You want to just think of them as nodes. Like, you have basically four exits to every one of these, and they... Yes? What? Excuse me? Oh, it's a fucking phasoid. Which is just cheating, apparently. Can I help you? So is this planet just cursed forever with these fucking things because of the... Well, yeah, every planet that you get rid of the, uh... No, I mean, I get the game mechanic. I just mean in theory. Oh my god! I can't fucking aim because the cat's getting in the way. The sad house is just like a little cage, but yeah, I might have to do that because he's 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 absolutely he's going like, crazy right now. He, he seems to what be. What the fuck? Earlier today, I concerned. got a shiny Doduo. Now I have a shiny Magnemite. Okay then. He is like concerned with the Kafuflia Hararif. Okay, Kif, I'll bite. How do you have boobs? In what sense? So why didn't we get that one earlier? I didn't have spider ball. Oh, so there's a lot we can get here now. Unless I did have a spider ball and I did get this, I don't actually know. Well, we're about to find out. Cause now, yeah, it wouldn't do this if you already had it. I mean, it might. Eh, you might, rabbit. No. You might. Oh no, this is just for a scan. Good. All right. Well, that was a thing. Um. Another scan. Alright, that was worthwhile. Um, well, there's still more on the other side, right? I need to figure out where... I know there's also a thing that required the Nova Beam, but I'm looking for other stuff first. Nova Beam. the one I just got. Is it? Why would it still be active, though? No. Yeah, pressing wrong buttons, yeah. Can't actually scan the planet. That would be too helpful. 
and now I have a level 100 shiny Magneton. That's what you think. Okay, so I don't actually have the map for Skytown yet, do I? Because I'm not seeing any X's and stuff here. I guess let me find the phaseite that I'm supposed to shoot through. Yeah, yeah, that was definitely a thing. I don't know if Bender saying I don't, like, I can quit anytime I want was just a joke, or if they actually changed their mind, like, two episodes later, but I'm guessing it was just a joke, because usually the show is pretty good about consistency. Well, yeah, sometimes. I thought the first time it was just supposed to be, like, making fun of that exact trope. Oi! And he's eating my hand. Do you want to put him in the yeah, sad house? Yeah, put him in the sad house. Also, and you're like 30 pounds. He's like super heavy now. Hi. Hey, baby boy. Vamanos. Hi. Okay, we got the pirate homeworld. Smaps. Smaps. Sap. Those were definitely words. Nope, you ain't going nowhere. You're going in the fucking cage. Get in. Well, like, I feel like I just did this one, but I'll do it again. This cat is one sad bit. Well, I mean, even if the pilot was written a long time before the rest of the show, it still foreshadowed all the Nibbler stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Cra! You know, cra. Croc scraw. Not like croc scraw. Six, one, two, oh, there we go, three. Okay, I think this might be the last one. Hey, GAS. No, they didn't edit in the Diddler stuff. People actually caught that during, like, the first airing. I'm glad that Aqua Teen Hunger Force stopped being about mysteries, because, like, the the thing we got as an alternative was fucking amazing. Okay, so let's look through this and see what we can get. There's an item over here, apparently. And... Is that actually it? Wow, there's a bunch of shit over there. Well, the oh, X's no, are ones I've already gotten. I think that's the only item. Well, in this In part this of it. section, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, we gotta take, like, the gerbil transit to get to the other side. What do you mean? Because it's like a giant hamster ball, because it looks stupid. Making sure this is the right door, I never can quite tell. <laughs> Phasoid, go away. I don't want what you're selling. No, Aqua Teen Hunger Force... I don't know if this was intentional or not, but it started out, like... The first, I think, four episodes... They... The Aqua Teen, like... The, they... Interact with each other differently, like, they kind of... Almost have some degree of respect for each other and, like, distinct roles in the group almost and um they uh they like actually get stupid mysteries to fuck solve. off they're stupid oh my god okay they're stupid mysteries but they get them and they solve them and stuff usually sometimes for the like the first four episodes then it stops being that like as of the the fourth or fifth episode even carl points it out he's like weren't you guys supposed to be detectives or something and Fry responds like, uh, Frylock, no, Frylock responds like, um, yeah, we are not really detectives anymore. Alright, well that was the thing. And then the show 
literally just did whatever the fuck it wants, and then it was really good. Yeah, that was a Futurama episode. Anchovies went extinct because the Decapodians ate them all, and he buys, like, the last known can. Oh, missile the glass? Wait, really? Yeah, it looked like it. I mean, it's cracked, but I don't think that's actually what you do. There was a spider ball track. Oh. Shylock? I don't know what that is. I assumed it was just Dreadlock and Fry. I mean, I don't think he actually has Dreadlocks, but he has Fries that could be Dreadlocks, so... Oh, good. That's exactly what I meant to do. Absolutely. He has Dreadlocks in one of the openings, to be fair. That was the episode with, uh... <laughs> Esther, you ugly! <laughs> yes. Well, you did the opening part to Sanford and Son, and so I did the other part. Oh, uh, I don't know how the rest of the song goes. Alright, now let's uh, meander our way over to the ship, which basically means go through a shit ton of different rooms and hope that I don't get shit turned around. Ton of rooms. So today was a slightly stupid at, uh, day at work. I opened again today, so I got in at 9, and uh, I think this is the last day I'm doing that, at least on any kind of regular basis. I might still be doing it Sundays, but I'm not sure yet. Um, God, my hand hurts. I feel like he scratched me really bad, but I don't see a, like a scratch mark or anything, so I don't know. But anyway, so I get in, and um, it's fucking dirty. Like, whoever was closed and cooked last night just did not clean freaking anything. There was this bucket of, um, we have, we have, like, we, we put spinach on pizza sometimes, like, it's a topping, but it's, like, we get these bags of, of fresh spinach, and then you, like, stir in some butter sauce, and then you, like, put it in bags and stuff. Somebody had, like, this big bucket full of the spinach with, like, some butter on top of it, basically not mixed, like, at all. And it was just sitting in one of the fridges with no kind of lid or anything, so that had to be thrown out. Um, it hadn't been swept, and it looked it looked like it hadn't been swept in, like, a freaking week. Um, it was just freaking nasty, so I, I spent, like... 30 or 45 minutes just trying to clean up when I got in, basically. And, um, 30 minutes after I got there, like, just for perspective, this is 9 o'clock, I get in at 9 o'clock, we officially open and start taking orders at 10.30. So, about 10 o'clock, or about 9.30, the uh, manager on duty just kind of leaves. Um, and this is not unusual, because... I think they have to, like, go make a deposit at the bank or, like, pick up money at the bank or something. I don't know what they did. They have to go to the bank for something. But she's gone for, like, over an hour. I have no idea what the fuck took so long. So she doesn't actually get back until after 10.30. And being a Monday morning, it's not going to be busy. But there was still an order that came in, and it was a delivery order, and we had no driver. Uh, he got in not too long after that, but I was still, like, concerned if I should even make it in the first place. Um, and then a phone call comes in, and I'm like, well, fuck, if somebody's actually ordering something for, like, a pickup, I don't have, like, the register password to even, like, accept their money. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do. But it wasn't somebody ordering, it was a different Pizza Hut, and they wanted to talk to the manager, and I'm like, there isn't one. I don't know where they went. <laughs> and they're like, oh, did you call? And I'm like, no, I was just kind of hoping she'd be back soon. And apparently they took it upon themselves to actually call, like, our area coach. And I think actually got her in trouble for it. And Oops. I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. So well, why was she gone? I don't fucking know. But, like, eventually she gets back. And 
The other thing that I didn't mention is, um, we got a truck last night. Like, th two times a week, a truck comes in with our product, the dough, the toppings, boxes, that kind of stuff. And they, uh, usually what'll happen is, like, depending on how big, oh, this is a shitty place to be. Um, wait, does this even lead to anything? Okay, now it no, where the fuck does this lead to? Oh, that's okay. I'll see if I can take that route. I don't know if I can. Um, but yeah, it's like, depending on how busy it is, they'll usually at least try to put away some of the stuff um, the night that the truck comes, but not always. And so it's kind of normal to have a bunch of crap laying around in the morning and then someone will put it away. But the way it had been stored was like inside our main walk-in fridge there was basically just this gigantic pile of boxes of cheese and shit just in the way of all the dough that I needed. And I didn't want to frickin' move it. Because, <laughs> like, that's not my job. And uh, the manager was gonna help move it, but then she frickin' left. So basically, I was just kind of reaching around, like, trying to get at the stuff. And... Then the guy who was supposed to eventually come in, like, didn't for an hour, and he was super late, and then, like, he finally comes in, and then they're just kind of sitting around bullshitting for, like, another half an hour, not doing anything. M meanwhile, I'm just kind of trying to make dough, and I'm like, okay, it's super slow today, so whatever. Like, I'll just kind of not worry about it that much, like, it's a Monday, who cares? Like, it was actually so slow that by, like, 1 o'clock, we still only had, like, 10 orders. Um, but, uh, then it starts picking up, and it picks up, like, really abruptly. And it was annoying because I had gone through the first half of the day not preparing much, thinking that, like, I shouldn't have too much stuff, or otherwise it will, like, go bad overnight. But... I don't know, it was, it, there, there isn't really any conclusive ending to this story, it was just a stupid day in general, and I, it got annoying because towards the end it was, like, way busier than it had any right to be. It, it went from frickin' nothing to, hey, there's five orders on screen and some of them are three pizzas each, have fun. Okay, cool. But, uh, during the slow period of the day... Um, because there was nobody around for a good portion of it, um, I took it upon myself to actually attempt to learn all the words to the long, awful part of Hardware Store, and I've actually succeeded. I do have it memorized, and I was able to do it not quite at full speed, but pretty close. I don't know if I could actually do it again now if I tried because it's, like, impossible to actually pronounce half of that shit, but that's a thing, I suppose. Is this door gonna open? No? Okay. Hey, look, more phasoids. These are fun enemies. I like how they just show up everywhere. Oh no, I also recited, I recited the entirety of Albuquerque uh, when I was at work. I'm not going to do it again right now, though. Because there's still only, like, four Weird Al songs that I actually know. Ugh, fuck! Saved by the bell! I like how that almost killed me. That was good. Yeah, Cheddar Cheese Lady still shows up. Why haven't you guys stopped serving her? We just can't. Or, more accurately, the manager won't let us. So let me see if I remember how all of it goes. 
Allen wrenches, dribble faders, toilet seats, electric heaters, trash compactors, juice extractors, shower rods and water meters, walkie talkies, copper wires, safety goggles, radial tires, baby pellets, rubber mallets, fans and dehumidifiers. Uh, God, I'm like already forgetting it. I had it like, so, I had it so good earlier. Um, fuck, what is the next part? It's... Picture hangers, paper cutters, waffle irons, window shutters, paint removers, window louvers. Uh, something in plastic gutters. What is that next part? It's masking, masking tape in plastic gutters. Kitchen faucets, folding tables, weather stripping jumper cables. I have to, like, finish this now. Um... What did I just say? Kitchen faucets, folding tables, weather stripping jumper cables, hook and, hook and tackle, grout and spackle, power fogger, spins and ladles, pesticides for fumigation, high performance lubrication, weather roofing, waterproofing, high performance loop. Er, <laughs> I, I, I had this so good earlier. What the fuck? Um, pesticide for fumigation, high performance lubrication, weather roofing, waterproofing, multi purpose insulation. Uh, Air compressors, brass connectors, wrecking chisel smoke detectors, uh, tire gauges, hamster cages, thermostats and bug deflectors, trailer hitch to magnetizers, automatic circumcisers, um, tennis rackets, angle brackets, duracells and energizers, soffit panel circuit breakers, vacuum cleaners, coffee makers, calculators, generators, matching salt and pepper shakers. So yeah, that's how Did all of it goes. high performance lubrication anywhere in there? Yeah, it's part of the... It's pesticides for fumigation, high-performance lubrication, water roofing, waterproofing, multi-purpose insulation. Okay. Like, that part's actually one of the easiest parts to say. But, yeah, it, like, the freaking... It's it's called Hardware Store, Hardware Store by Weird Al. It, it, it's really fucking long and fast. Well, like, the song isn't long, but just that, that list of bullshit goes on for far too goddamn long. And he says it so fast that I have to question if it's actually being done in real time or if it's like in post but it's like I when I when I kept doing it repeatedly at work like I was able to get pretty close but it's also like really hard to say it without tripping over your words constantly like even right at the beginning the uh Allen wrenches dribble feeders toilet seats electric heater trash compactor juice extractor shower rods and water meters like the trash compactor juice extractor part is really freaking hard to say. Okay, where the hell is this item? Okay, no, I did go the wrong way, I think. No, there's an item down there. Well, yeah, but I can't access it from here. I need to go back. I remember now, that's the one that's in the boost ballroom. Yo. These enemies suck. Try not to... Try to avoid any Virgos or Leos with the Ebola virus. You are the true lord of the dance, no matter what those idiots at work say. The look on your face will be priceless when you find that 40 pound watermelon in your colon. Trade toothbrushes with an albino dwarf and give a hickey to Meryl Streep. Why is this boss here? There's a thing you can lasso here. I don't know if you need to. I mean, that's what that's how I get the upgrade. I'd like to kill this bullshit first, though. Can't actually tell what I'm getting hit by half the time here. They're just shooting missiles at you. Vinyata streaming Metal Gear. I'm sorry. Why I'm sorry. Okay. Good. What was that comment? 
there. The same bitch from the McDonald's told a kid, fuck you, because he was grabbing napkins and was freaking out that they would get in her food. Oh, good. <laughs> Can't have that now. Oh, I didn't realize this was in a, was a power cell. Energy cell, whatever it's called. Good thing it powered off fucking nothing, and I can <laughs> still use the elevator to get out. Yeah, I mean, there was a person that came the other day that ordered a... Well, like, what happened What I hope I didn't already tell this story. I feel like I already did. It, it's not even that interesting. Um, she ordered a medium pan pizza. I forget what the toppings are, but it doesn't matter. And then, like, two orders later, I saw the exact same order pop up. So I checked the computer. I see it's from the same name, same phone number. So, um... I was gonna tell somebody to like call and see if they actually wanted the order twice, because sometimes they actually do, but usually not. Um, and everybody was busy, so I called myself, and I have a phone with a like out of state area code, so a lot of times people don't pick it up, and they, she didn't in this case. I'm like, whatever, I'm just not gonna make it. Then, like a freaking half hour later, or like way later than anybody should have come to pick up this order, uh, she pulls up to the drive-thru, and, um, like, I usually have nothing to do with the customers in the front, but, again, everyone was busy, so I go over, and I'm like, like, uh, what's the name, like, what, uh, what can I get you, and I realize that's the person who had the double order, and the double order thing, completely irrelevant. I had no reason to mention it, but I wanted to anyway. Um, so she's like, I, I get the order, I bring it over, and she opens it up in the car, and it's like, is this a pan crust? I'm like, yes, it is supposed to be. Like, that's what it said in the order. Well, it looks like a hand tossed. And I'm like, it's not, it, it's a pan crust. And then the manager freaking like, gets done with his phone call, comes over and sees what hap is happening, and he's like, oh, no, I, I can assure you that this is a pan crust, but if you like, we can remake it. I'm like, what the fuck? Why? Why do... Oh. And now, of course, at this point, I can't say no. So he remakes the pizza, even though there was literally nothing wrong with it, and then gives her the new one, and I overheard part of the conversation. Apparently, she still said it didn't look like a pan crust. Like, okay, I mean, that's right, because we made the same thing. It's gonna look the same as the first one. Like, people are freaking stupid. So, is this manager just an idiot, then? He's not an idiot as much as he is just kind of an ass-kisser. Um, he very much tries to avoid any kind of confrontation with customers, even if they're very clearly in the wrong, which is why he stands for cheddar cheese ladies bullshit. Because anybody's, like, money is still money, even if they have to go through seven free orders to get it, I guess. I don't freaking know. I don't know how much of that is him and how much is just the franchise people being douchebags. Well, here's the thing. If she's trying to get a hot, fresh pizza, then don't fucking show up 30 to 45 minutes late. Like... You place your order, it's gonna say 15 minutes, you come and get it in 15 minutes, or a little bit after that. You don't wait f forever and let it get cold. <laughs> That's not our fault. Um, well, pan crust is just in a pan. Like, it has kind of a lip to it, and then it cooks inside it and is kind of thicker, and hand-tossed crust is, you just kind of lay it flat on a tray and it puffs up a little bit. I like the hand-toss better than the pan. Yeah, I don't like pan crust really at all. Oh boy, Brio! Heading over to the... Hall. Hi, 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 I guess we'll just pick one. We'll 
Let's get the fiery one out of the way because it's the most orange. Stuffed crust is a hand-tossed pizza stretched slightly further with five pieces of string cheese arranged in a circle and then tucked inside. My favorites are stuffed crust and pan crust. Except you, like, didn't believe that pan crust existed on the no, website. No, I knew it. No, it wasn't that. It was... It, pan crust was there, but, like... I didn't know that pan crust and deep dish were the same thing, because they're kind of not. Yeah, we don't serve deep dish. Yeah. It's just the closest thing you have. Yeah, when people say deep dish on the phone, we just give them pan, because that's what they mean, but it's not what they say. Good, there's exactly one item here. Is it worth the effort to make a stuffed crust? Eh, kinda. It doesn't take that much effort, like... The problem is when you don't have enough of them pre-made and, like, everybody is ordering almost exclusively stuffed crust and you have to do them all from scratch, because each one takes about a minute. I think it's worth it. I like stuffed crust. They're really fucking good. It's like, that and pan pizzas are the only things I'll get from Pizza Hut because they're the only things that come out tasting all that unique or good... No offense. That was successful. Okay. So we're going to head over to Ice Zone first because it does not show on the map and it is easy to overlook. Uh, Pizza Hut actually doesn't make french fries. Wing Street does, and most Pizza Huts have a Wing Street. Mine, however, does not. And that pissed off a lot of people on the phone. Not for french fries specifically, although I did have one person ask for those. But, um, there's always that one jerk, like, that one asshole that's like, I want a lemon pepper wings, and like, we don't have those. And they're like, but, but you've had them before! I'm like, no, other stores have had them before, we never did. And then they'll just kind of, like, want us to make them anyway. But, I don't know. But yeah, uh, Wing Street has many flavors of wings, french fries, mozzarella sticks, apple pies, I forget what else, but we don't Toilet have any of that seats, stuff. electric heaters. Trash compactor, juice extractor, extra shower, wads and water meters. There are some parts of that that are really freaking hard to say quickly. Um, there was the... What was it? Um, picture hangers, paper cutters, waffle irons, wi window shutters part took me a while to get down. And then there's just pancakes. That, that's just part of the song. Just, I don't know. This isn't going to end well. It ended perfectly fine. I saw nothing wrong with that. I don't get why they made this extremely small, like, temple outcropping here way out in the middle of fucking ice-ass tundra. And then just made a portal to it in the lava area. Like, what the fuck? Were they high? What is this? They're high on life. Yo. Wait. <laughs> What are you, gay? Yeah. Just for no reason. Oh, good. This seems about right. This seems highly necessary. Um... I don't think you need to... I oh. think you just go down here. Yeah, I've heard that uh, apparently measles is kind of coming back because of all the anti-vax people. Like, it was pretty close to kind of going away for good, and 
the herd immunity is so weakened now that it's like spiking a lot in certain areas. This place sucks. All right, well, I've gotten what I came for. Don't order a pizza at 1143. At least, I assume whatever place you're ordering from closes at 12. Don't, don't order a pizza at 1143. If they close at 12. If they close at 1, then it's fine. I don't know if any place would be open at 1 on a weekday. Not on a I weekday. Think I think that, like, either Domino's or Papa John's, or possibly both, is actually open an hour later than us, so on Friday, Saturday, they would be open until 1, but, yeah, I don't think they would on a Monday. Sounds about right. Doesn't look about right, sounds about right. Okay, so here's the part where we get to go through about 20 different rooms to get to the uh, farthest end of this area and then go all the way back because there's no shortcut. Well, actually, no, there's a shortcut back, but there is no shortcut there. What's a dinosaur to dine? What's a sore to dine? What's a do? More like, what's a do? Get in I mean, that's what I was just questioning. Like, the only way to get to the ice side of Brio, or rather, let's be more clear, the only way to get to the only, like, structure made by a civilized society on the entire other half of the planet... I mean, we don't know that for a fact. There could be more. I guess there could be more, but... As as it would appear, like, if there were more, I feel like there'd be spaceports, because this side has spaceports. Maybe. But, so, as far as we know, the one as civilized as structure know. in all of the other okay. half of the entire planet, and you can't even go there directly, you have to go there through this warp. I have no idea why, other than, like, it's kind of cool and, sec like, seclu secluded. Like, it's, it's neat. It's impractical, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a pretty cool shirt you got going on there. Is that like a Powerpuff Girl? No, she has you a mohawk and wheelchair. We are not getting sued. God, the Universal Remonster episode, just in general. I like the part where... He, they're freaking out because, like, he's in the kitchen. Or, no, no, he's in the attic. Go get the knife. But I can't get the knife. It's in the kitchen, and the kitchen is in the attic. Oh, great! Now he has the knife! <laughs> Forgot about the Sinjo ruins. What are those? Um, it's the ruins that exist allegedly between Johto and Sinnoh, where you view Google Images. What? Yeah, it's... it's If you have an Arceus, you go there, you view a bunch of Google Images for about three minutes, and then you just get a level one legendary. That's like, pretty cool. Like, the Google images are not an exaggeration at all. That is exactly what they are. Like, they actually took images from Google and put them in their game? Yep. Huh. Okay, that's a little less cool. Man, they really make you go back to, like, every corner of the game to get this shit. Yep, and it's just for a missile expansion. It could at least be, like, an A-Tag. I remember we saw this, like, way earlier in the game. Yep. And this has been a long-ass payoff for this. Is 
Isn't this where we fought Frozone? Um. It's near it anyway. Maybe. I don't remember. Don't even know what his actual name is. Just know he's named Frozone. It's Rundus, but yeah. Rundus, more like Rundown. Gotta close that act up. It's important. Can't have people falling in the fuel gel now. Oh my god. Why am I stuck? Can I, can I just nuke these fuckers? Like, I have no reason to, but I just want them to die. I think this is the first time we've used the ship missiles, other than, like, for plot progression. And it, it was killed entirely one. ineffective. It killed one. Thanks, ship. God, the ship missiles are useless. We need strength, we need energy, we need strenergy. We need to build a wall. Menergy! And that's what's happening, whether you like it or not. Speaking of which, what are we? Like, let's see, so it's, uh. Okay. Uh, we're barely in a year into the presidency, okay. I was gonna. I was gonna ask, uh. You know. Big. Big, uh, promises on the campaign trail there is. Just occurred to me that I don't think any such wall has been constructed, but it's only been a year, so. I mean, did he actually say it was going to happen, or was it just kind of like a stupid thing that? No, he, was, he like, actually said he was going to do it. Like that line I just quoted, that was from a debate he had, and granted, it was sentence mixed to say something stupid, but like you can tell what the original was supposed to be. What excellence have you missed? Not much. Um, a little bit of orange, a little bit okay, of item so, collection, that's it. So, um... This is just game cleanup at this there's point. There's a section coming up where I have to make sure that I come in at the right location, and I don't remember which one I want to do. Because you have to do, like, a bunch of really stupid ship navigation. Also, there's a lot of items here, Jesus. Um... I like how the comment explaining it got immediately scrolled off the screen so I couldn't read it. He said he was going to use the lavatory. You know, he's old. I'm trying to think what order you need to do this in. I'm gonna do Thorn Jungle first, and I'm probably gonna regret this. Oh, right, I need to. Why does there need to be a particular order to it? Because you have to, like, I don't even remember. You have to do, like, this stupid shit where you, like, lift a giant head with the, with the ship. And then oh. you have to, like, navigate to the other side without using the ship. And it can only be done in one direction, and I don't remember which way you do it. Um, here, actually, before I even do that... I'm gonna go to this one, open the short... Uh, I think the shortcut has to be open from both sides. I'm gonna open it from this side and then take the ship to the other side. And hopefully that will prevent backtracking. Because I know I'm gonna fuck this up, because I never remember how to do it. But I'm gonna try to minimize that as much as I can. sure are just items floating in the void. Yeah, that's There's a little also unusual. a door that I never took, so... I think that is where we are going. Oh, we've gotten to the high eye eye music. Okay, how do I actually get to that door? Looks like it's just kind of this way. But it's not the orange one, though. Unless it's on the other end. Okay. Why? Why have I never been this way? Guess you never needed to. <laughs> Was it the plasma door that blocked you? Oh, it might have been. Yeah, I'm pr pretty sure it was, actually. 
What did that say? Just, okay. Not any, it was just the Pokemon the first movie soundtrack. Not anything about it, just that. Do you mind, like, going away? Is this actually the room where you have to do all the shit? Mm, no, actually, I don't think it is. are doors here, but there's also a bunch of stuff I need to do in here. I'm gonna keep going for now, if I can. Which actually I don't think I can. I think I have to solve the puzzle first. What the fuck is this? Wait, I think there's like a flower that's puking out bugs at me or something. I should probably deal with that. Seems about right. Yeah, okay. Those were like the piddliest flames ever. Anyway, I'll be back here soon enough. I want to keep going this way, though. They look lore that I'm probably not going to bother reading. Yeah, I don't care. Yes. Okay, so this is where I put the head. Really? This is where I put a head, at least. And it's just for a freaking shit missile. Um, that can't be the only point to this room. There's another door, allegedly. Really? Really, I have to actually activate this? Well, the long, annoying quest is also for an energy cell. I guess this is just kind of also part of it. But yeah, so I can't actually do this until I get the head, and I don't even remember where you get the head. To get head, I mean get a head. Best game. You want to open? Okay, so it wasn't a, it's not a flower puking out bug, is it? It's a lizard puking out bugs. Why did I just hear the freaking echo visor stuff? Was I alone in that? I heard like the boom, boom, boom. Yo. Yeah, okay. Look at all that work for one missile. Yeah, that don't look tedious at all. Can you kill yourself with grapple voltage? I'm actually not sure if the game will let you or not. And 
we're still going. I think we're about halfway there. Keep moving! We're still going. It's good for you. Really? I have to double bomb jump off a spider ball track? Okay, then. Yeah, that wasn't, like, that wasn't difficult. That was just kind of overly long. And what does this get me? Oh, right, I remember now. Me. Breathe out some cold air and most of it was not even directed towards the lava fall, and yet it freezes anyway. Oh, good. Remember when I said I was gonna come here to, like, open the shortcut and then leave? It's still yet to be seen if I can even access the shortcut. Please, game. Can I make this without the screw back? Well, not if I do that. Yeah, there's platforms back here. I was not aware of that. I had not been made aware of that. Wait, there was still an item in there? Oh no, it's in this tunnel. Okay, so yeah, I think the I think the shortcut I needed to open is actually right here. So I can't actually open it until I drop the head into that. And I don't know where I get the head. Get so the head, at I mean this, get a the head. At this point I'm almost positive I'm gonna have to take the ship back and forth like three times, but I guess we'll worry about it when we get there. Oh what the hell is this garbage? I mean, I don't necessarily mind this, it's, as far as more fall tunnels go, it's at least an original design. I just sit in here for a little bit. I keep forgetting that I can touch the fuel gel without getting damaged. Excuse me. A river of slow pee. I do like the grat gratuitous ass shot from Zero Mission. It was pretty good. Um, I like Samus Returns once I stopped being a whiny bitch about it. What do you mean? Well, like, when I was streaming it, I was, like, bad at the game and complaining that I didn't want to use the new mechanics and was just kind of game grumping it up. Mm. And then I got over it and I enjoyed it. Well, I got better. Is. It's not like I'm reading them. If I shoot each one of these exactly once... Nothing will happen. Exactly. Mm. 
I'm surprised that didn't require the seeker missiles. Wait, is this the giant room? Or the room with the giant head? No? I thought it was. Okay, because there was an energy cell in here originally, I think. Do I find her attractive? I mean, I guess. I mean, I can't say she's my type because she's, like, kind of a badass character and, like, not really somebody that would be considered for such things, but sure, I guess I don't so. remember saying anything from Monty Python. Most of my, like, references are just kind of autonomous. Yeah, I don't even, one. like, think about them. They just kind of come out of my mouth. So if I said something from Monty Python, I don't even remember what it was. Oh my uh, god. I, I didn't make a conscious de decision to do it. I have to sit over here for a bit because my Switch's battery is at 1% because this thing has no battery. Hmm. Oh, here's just a missile. Alright. Good to know. Yeah, special ending, yeah. I don't actually know what the special ending is, yeah. Oh, it's because you said I got better, which was from Holy Grail. Oh, okay. I did not remember doing that. <laughs> okay, I don't remember how this section works at all. Because this entire thing looks like it can be maneuvered. It says I took a battery from it. I don't remember this section. Is this part of the giant puzzle? I mean, I'm going to try to figure it out anyway. Like, you don't actually have to answer that, but... God, um... So how many items are there still in this section? I can't go this way. There's two just kind of there. Where there is is yet to be seen. Um, no, seriously, how the fuck do you get there? Oh, there's like a door down there. I should probably access that door. That sounds like something worth doing. tend to do that a lot. Well, it's just that I finally got the right moves on these stupid legendary birds. So now it's not actually that challenging. Plenty of time was there. Apparently wasn't my record. I don't know if, uh, if I'll do another randomizer game. Um, I mean, probably like XD if the randomizer for that gets finished. But uh, I'm trying to work on it as I can. But now that the school semester started, I'm gonna have a ton of different programming projects, and I'm yeah. probably not ever gonna get time to do the randomizer at all. I kind of consider Pokemon randomizers to be a different beast from the Zelda and Metroid ones, anyway. They are. I know someone someone recommended the uh, Mario RPG randomizer, and that one didn't immediately repulse me. I don't know if I'm actually going to do it. I'd have to be in the mood for it, but it's a possibility, maybe. Yep, I totally read that. Anything else in here? Oh, wait, this is the head. Okay. There he so, is. So, the 
problem with this is if I pick this up, I can't actually... No, never. I was going to say if I pick this up, I can't actually get in the ship, but no, because I can drop this onto the... Like, I have access to the other thing, I believe. Oh, good. Do I do freeze anything it? here? I mean, I don't know if the, I have to freeze it, but I'll just pick up the thing anyway. Because I should be able to put this in the other spot, and then it'll, like, open the shit missile and open the other path. So I legitimately don't actually remember what the overarching puzzle here is. I know that there is one. But if I can just take this straight to the drop-off point, then this isn't the puzzle. There must be another one. I think there's like another one way off the map here or something. Yeah, it's like there's like a secret passage somewhere. Not very secret, but there you go. I like how this just isn't on the map. Clearly my next main stream will be Kickle Cubicle. What? What? What is that? An NES game that I've never played and I don't know anything about. So this is uh, slightly overdue because the question was asked a while ago, but uh, I was asked if I found Samus attractive, and that reminds me that uh, shortly before the stream, I got a text out of nowhere from Martin saying, uh, who are your waifus? And I'm just like, excuse me? <laughs> and apparently, somebody at uh, the Pizza Hut where he works was talking about waifus, I don't know why, and then apparently it was mentioned that I have them, and the guy wanted to know who. And I'm like, uh, I don't actually really have any, I guess Kaylee from Firefly, but apparently she doesn't count because she's a real person, and I'm like, well, Jewel State is a real person, but I don't know if that counts. It's like, I don't really have an answer to that question. I don't actually think I really have any. Like, I joke that I do, but... Oh, there's the battery. Okay. See, I don't remember how any of this shit works. I find Samus somewhat attractive, but I think I'd be too afraid to ask her on a date. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying earlier. It's like... Purely physically, then yeah, sure, although blondes aren't really my thing. But. I don't know. What the fuck is. How is there an item. Okay. I'm so confused. I don't know where anything is. I know this game so poorly. that I have to drop that HUD. How much other stuff even is over here? There's at least one. Actually, it looks like the only one. Uh, 
So that one I can't get yet. That one I will get as soon as I drop the head off. Yeah, I guess let me go here and get that. And then I'll head back. I think I know what that item is anyway. Because that's the big room where there's like a bunch of ice that you can melt. I could have gotten that as soon as I had plasma beam. I just never came back. <laughs> Favorite Deoxys form? Uh, probably attack. If we're going just purely off of looks, because I have never used any of them. Even then, still probably attack anyway. Missiles really are just kind of useless in this game, because hyper mode is way better. Girlfriend ships Harry and Draco, oh god. never really got into the whole shipping thing. I never really saw the point, I guess. I guess the closest I could come is just anything involving Luna Lovegood, because I just like her as a character. But I don't have, like, a specific match, I guess. Yeah, my grandma uh, shipped freaking Carly and Freddy. It was, it was pretty good. And Harry and Hermione. Gotta specifically say Hermione, though, because she always said it that way. That is the door I just came out of, is it not? I actually kind of agree that no one's good enough for Luna. Like, I know that canonically she actually does marry, uh, what is it, Rolf Scamander, a character that we never see in the series. But I almost feel like she's too kind of like otherworldly to like ever be in a relationship i don't know this so th this topic has immediately started reaching points that i'm uncomfortable with so i will not suggest an alternate topic and instead just mention hadoos that's just my default. Okay, this is the right way to be going, right? Go over here, I think. Oh, 
Oh, good. Do you mind? Ah, uh, Hermie. Uh, Victor Crumb said Hermie own, and then, uh, Grop said Hermie. Gotta let the bats get out of the way. I'm not doing Pokemon Cries. As soon as I do one, it's gonna open a can of worms. I'm gonna do, like, 35 others. Thank you. Are you permanently offline now? Was that your one function? Yes. I'm so glad that it was built. Okay. So now we get to do this. I did want to change the subject. This is true. It's not that, it's just because I'm sick. I was. I like how I ricocheted off the edge there. Huh? Nothing, it was just a stupid thing that happened in the game. favorite type of waffle. Are there different types? No, I mean, I know th there's, there's shitty frozen waffles, which are actually not that shitty. There's better waffles. That's about it. Now, um, Belgian waffle, I guess. Insert Super Milk Chan reference here. Okay. So, I assume that I'm done in this section and I need to take the ship out of here and go to this section, pick up something, and then go through the shortcut and drop it over here. I don't actually know. But that's what I'm going to try to do. Either way, there's nothing else I can do here other than this one item and I don't know how to get it. What waffle do I order at IHOP? Um... They have chicken and waffles, I get sometimes. The things I usually get at IHOP are the, like, country omelet, which has just ham and hash browns in it, basically. Um, the chicken and waffles occasionally, or just, like, whatever type of pancake I feel like having, which is usually blueberry. We go for a grand adventure on the other side of the planet. Have I shown the picture of me wearing my shirt of the Hadoo standing on pancakes while I'm holding a plate of pancakes with a Hadoo on it? I assume I've shown that picture, but if I haven't, I'll go get it. Why? I like how it took this long for somebody to ask why the name of the stream is McRib. Um, there isn't much of a reason. I was going to call it Prime Rib because I've, I'm stupid and I'm unoriginal. But uh, I think I've used that title before, so I just decided to call it McRib. Um, here, let me dig up that image. Give me a minute. I think I have it saved somewhere. Well, I know I have it posted on Reddit at very least, so let me find that. Sift 
sifting through my massive amount of Beanie Baby posts. There we go. Got this picture. Uh, here it is. This is me holding a plate of pancakes with a hadou on it while wearing a shirt, which is a plate of pancakes with a hadou on it. It might be the best picture ever. All right, now that we've done that. <laughs> it really is the best shirt though. I have to wonder if anybody else ever bought it. Kelly Green, yeah. Now I'm just reminded of that episode of South Park where Cartman was trying to, like, get into this girl's slumber party claiming that he knew... Kelly, insert extremely long, ridiculous last name here, and then it turned out that there actually was one in the party with that name, and then he, like, came up with a different one, and there was also one with that name. I don't remember what the names were, though. They were they were very Rocker Steinbergers and Field-esque. Okay. How long did it take me to buy it? Um, I got it from Martin, actually, for Christmas. As for the uh, the plush hadou that I'm holding, uh, that one came from Goodwill. It was possibly my best find there. I've gotten a number of Beanie Babies from Goodwill, and given that I collect those, I've found a number that I needed. But the fact that there just happened to be a pigeon when I'm, like, the only person that would ever buy it was pretty great. Um, I do not currently have any plans for there to be pancakes in BA3, but you never know. Okay, well that was a good use of time, and here we just kind of go up the half pipe, and then there's brown. Hey look, another missile expansion. Looks like I'm missing either one or two E-Tanks, and those are really the only upgrades worth the shit. Because the ship missiles are completely worthless, the missile expansions are mostly worthless, and I guess there's like the batteries also, but those are more MacGuffins. Um, I have a specific purpose for the bait, actually. I wouldn't be able to replace it with pancakes. Surprisingly not many items here. There's one. Oh, right, and that, yeah, that's, okay. That is actually the only item here. However, I still need to figure out what I'm doing with the giant head. Or, no, I, I moved the giant... What am I actually doing? Because I, I, th I thought I had to do something with a giant head, but I already completed that task. I don't know, we'll figure it out when I get there, I guess. What am I doing? I'm just trying to get all the items. Pause right before I get hit by that bullshit. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'll, it'll come to me. Like, if I don't figure it out, then I might ask for help, but I'm gonna try to 
figure it out on my own. Yo, you want to go away? God, did there have to be fucking, like, a hundred of these? Hmm. They take way too much effort to kill, so I'm just kind of waiting on the 40-second door. They are phasoids. They're annoying things that sh <coughs> Annoying things that show up once you've uh, completed a planet, basically. Yeah, Chozo Ghosts are actually less of a nuisance, which is surprising, because I hate those two. Did I seriously not go the right way? No, I did. Okay, I just have to continue in this way. What you like as some kind of animal. You want to reword that one? you like as if you were your own made-up animal? Uh, definitely El Pardak. Okay, well, screw you then. Am I going the wrong way? Hey, hey, going the wrong way. Oh, wait, actually... Okay, I think I know what I have to do here. Yeah, this is just a thing that you can lift. It doesn't look like it, but it is. Got a big ol' head, hey-ho. Okay, see, I think this has to be dropped into the rotating thing with the energy cell. And that's why it matters what order you do this in, because you can't fly the ship to the other side while it's carrying this, and this tunnel has to be opened from each side. So if you don't open it from this side first, then you can't get through this. You have to drop the thing back down, go all the way around and do that, and then do it again. So actually, I did manage to do this correctly. Good. It's like the most involved puzzle in the entire Metroid Prime series, and it has no reason to be. Also, what is this mechanism? Sorry. Alright. I'm oh, sorry, I didn't hold that note nearly long enough. I'm going the right way. I think I am. Uh, actually, no. Oh, well, maybe. Sort of. I'm gonna go back the other way, though. This is good commentary. This is, this is why people watch me. They come for the Hadoos, but they, well actually no, nobody comes for the Hadoos. Um, I don't know what they come for.
Fuck off! Oh my god. This room is stupid. Why does there have to be a pelican lizard puking out bugs? I don't like it. They come for the Wuggas, but they stay for the Jiggy Juggas. Jugga Jigga Wugga! And because I feel like it. Everybody to the limit, 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 everybody come on for God's God's God. I see you trying to play like play like the cheat! I don't know who it is, but it probably is for who it is. I asked my friend Joe, I asked my friend Jake, I asked my friend Joe, I asked my friend Jake, I asked my friend Jake, I asked my friend Jake. Joe, come! Because it's a meal, it's a fill of a fill of a fill of a Sorry. That was a pizza. Amazing. Amazing. Chuck it, chuck it, chuck it, chuck it. I don't care. No, I don't know who made my camera wet, but it probably is the steam. I give up, I give up. Warranty. That was, uh, that was good. I should now find the original and play it for comparison. The best part of it is definitely the <laughs> Yeah, it's Foho Bo it, it it's Foho Bo Gods. F O E B O E No. Was it Foho Bo Gods, I think is what yeah, I I don't remember how to spell it, but I'm pretty sure it still exists. Yeah, with a fake Toki. Yeah, with a fake invisible Toki. Little known fact, Homestar shrank two feet and gained a hundred pounds for this scene. It's true. I think we are done with this area. Well, yeah, it, it's it's a YouTube poop of Fahukwa Gods. Or the Fahukwa Gods song, which is called Everybody to the Limit. I don't know who made my camera wet, but it probably is the steam. I have no idea what the other source of that line is. The steam thing. It's unusual. Oh, and this is the wrong way. <laughs> you mean this one? That one looked at me funny. I want that one. Um, well, I should have... Oh, I should have already cleared out Alicia at this point. Please. Frog. Frog, please. Frog. You're ruining the game. Frog. Frog. I'm just trying to get up. Frog, please. Okay, fine. Everything dies. Even though there's nothing in my way, everything dies anyway. Just 
this is just the rest of the game now. Oh, 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 oh. And we're going the wrong way again. Alright. So clearly we'll talk about waifus again. No, no, we're not actually going to. However, I have now probably invoked conversation already. He's not coming down. Get ready to catch ya. Are you sure you're never saying that again, or are you going to say it all the time? Do you know the proper name? I would make a joke out of that, but I was not quick on my feet. All right, let's return here for the uh, first time in frickin' ages because there was never any reason to go back. I know there's at least one area that I can get to now that I have welding abilities. I'm not sure what else there is. Why Eterna City specifically? Never have to do that one again. I'm not gonna do Wendy. Three, 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 three. Okay. Just shoot people for no reason. There's an item like here, isn't there? before. Okay. I don't know why I didn't. I guess, I guess because the last time I was here is when it was under attack by the evil forces of Ganon. So it would have made sense that I did not do that. I did not know that there was already a paw. Fortree City? Oh god. I, don't, I mean, I, I really don't want this to just degen degenerate into me whistling stuff. Um... I'm trying to remember how that song even goes. If I heard, like, the first few notes of it, I'd probably remember it. I, it's not coming to mind right now, though.
Oh, I, I like how I've learned nothing. Oh, yeah, I remember doing that in, like, the Fendrana Drifts, like, pirate area. for right now. There's an easy item there. There's apparently an item there. And there is nothing that way. Except a demon. Oh, okay. The zombie on the soup of Barbie Barbie Pam 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 Prime attack of internet to dudes his friend still on. But what if Matt MK, a chained up thing, is all that stook? And if Zippy draws my CD ROM, don't talk to my old grey foot. Oh. Yeah, there's not really a whole lot to talk about during this, is there? So, uh, the Eterna City reminded me of the fact that, uh, for, like, the last week I had, um, Pyrite Town from Coliseum and XD stuck in my head for way too goddamn long. And, um, that one can be blamed on the fact that, uh, I forget who's doing the repainted of it, but somebody on the Discord is doing a repainted of that game, and... Basically, just did like a version of that song that is not different at all, except the snapping is way out of beat and it's really, really awful. <laughs> and then I was just like, "Oh yeah, that is a good song, isn't it?" And then I'm just like, and then I just, it, yeah, I'm not gonna actually sing that song. Or am I? the white version of Opal Lucid City. I never really cared much for the black version, but I didn't hear it all that much, because I didn't have that one. And escape. Or not, okay. Crusty bomb battlefield, that sounds glorious. Dragon gem, yeah. I liked a lot of the town music from Black and White. Drift Vale was good. Nimbasa was good. I'm trying to actually think of what other ones there were now. Uh, I think Castellia was pretty good. <laughs> I do kind of want to play through Gen 5 again at some point. Definitely have to do a pit of only run. Alright, let's go do the welding and then see what lies beyond that area. Probably just a bunch of bullshit. Actually, I think I remember one thing that's back here, and it's none too pleasant. Yeah, I've actually never used Pit of. Um, I think it's usually considered one of the worst normal flying types, though. So I don't imagine I'd have a very good time with it. But it is a Hadoo. You've got to use the Hadoo.
Rusty Bucket Bay with what sound? Because that's another song that's actually kind of been in my head recently. Oh, good. I forget, doesn't the Pit of line have the problem of, like, most of its attacks are the, like, type that it doesn't specialize in? Like, I don't remember if it's it has high attack and it gets all special moves, or if it's the other way around. But I seem to remember that being the problem with it. That, and it's just a generic-ass bird that doesn't really get any good moves. Come on. Rusty Bucket Bay slash Grundy, Grunty Industries mashup right now. Go. Except I don't know what that would involve exactly. Oh, I like my shitty trumpet noise. Oh, hello. What is this? Has Bongo and Bongo escaped? when the glitch happens in Banjo-Tooie and all the songs overlap. I don't know what causes that. It just happens sometimes after, like, boss fights in minigames. Pretty much all the boss music in Banjo-Tooie is good. Kirkhope is uh, very good at remixing things into sounding dramatic. What does this do? I actually don't remember this. I know there's a secret message from Miyamoto that you can get if you put in a certain password in the ship, but that's not number-based, those are symbols. Does anyone remember what this is, or can look it up? Um, I think I've gotten the music glitch to happen on a console before. Most notably in Cloud Cuckoo Land after the trash can minigame. But I think I've had it happen in other places. Okay, making sure there is no item there. But yeah, I know exactly what's awaiting me at the end of this, and uh, it's going to be a thing. Is this going to be a space pirate attack? Favorite boss theme from Tui specifically? I'd probably have to go with Welder. I probably won't ever get back to Spyro 2. I don't really have a good reason for it. I just kind of took too long without ever playing it again. And at this point, I like have no desire to. So wait, can I not actually go this way? I assume I just kill enough of these and it opens, but... I don't know if these are infinite, because there is still technically one upgrade that I haven't gotten. And I didn't think it was needed here, but I could be wrong, and looking at it, I can see why I might need it.
Does anyone remember? Or, again, like, can look up? Because... Well, here, let me just see what this thing says. Okay, now it's connected to the bioform, so yeah. Actually using super missiles for once. Yeah, I still get people asking for Extreme Edition, and I don't understand that, like, at all. It's... It would just be the same bullshit, but worse. Like... There's so many other Mario 64 hacks I could do. Granted, I'm not doing any of them anyway, but if I was going to, I wouldn't want to do that one. Looking this, looking at that thing, I'm reminded of the, uh, like, nebula versions of various Pokemon that people post on Reddit. Good room. Yeah, it's like the pattern that's in, like, Cosmog's clouds. Um, people kind of, like, edit that into other Pokemon sprites. Yeah, I mean, the Mario 64, like, Ocarina of Time hack is still going on. It's just updated very slowly because I tend to forget about it. Okay, so, this is our first time actually seeing one of these enemies. This is a Metroid Hatcher. There's a few of these. And here's the thing. I could have gotten here without Nova Beam, and the fact that I have the Nova Beam basically renders this boss fight completely trivial. But I'm going to try my best to fight it, like, the legit way. I think I might still be able to accidentally kill it, though. I'm not sure. Oh, good. Let's just fall off. Do I have to use Hyper Mode on it? Or? I don't actually remember how to fight these, like, at all. It says when the head gets overloaded, the tentacles can be ripped off. I don't know how I overload it. Like, it, it's not taking any damage. What do I do? Oh, do I shoot the... Okay, I think I shoot the tentacles. That's fine. Next time I fight one of these, I'm absolutely going to uh, cheese it. I just wanted to try and fight it normally once. Oh, good. Perfect. These ones, however, I have no problem with doing that. quarter of the way dead. So yeah, very annoying boss. And like, uh, there's like three or four of these. They're mostly in the space pirate home world. I actually forgot that there was one here. Good. Can I please? Man, aiming is not my strong suit. Yeah, I think there's one on the Valhalla, too. I haven't actually been there at all in this playthrough, though. 
I was gonna save that for once I finished everything else. Pull fucking harder, come on. There we go. I'm taking a lot of damage. If I get to a point where I'm almost dead, I'll just cheese it, but yeah. God, hitting these things is, like, impossible. Okay. Come on. Do the thing. Go. Alright, only one left. <laughs> Every freaking time. I have no way if there's... Oh, that worked out well. I have no idea if there's, like, a proper way to get the grapple to work. I always just, like, yank it really frickin' hard, and it, like, rarely ever registers. Oh, you got stuck in Meridia, that sucks. Alright, was this at least for an energy cell? Yes, it was. I like how my answer was, or my question was answered before I even finished saying it. First, let's go through at least 65 miles of Morph Ball Tube. Add this to my collection. I still don't get where I'm holding these. Burp. So is that it for Norian then? Yeah, Power Bomb sixty six was a little unpleasant. I'd say it was still wor it, w it was better than fighting Ridley without various suit, though. That was fucking trash. Man, those are some good trees. Okay, making sure I've got everything here. Look like it, yes. Does it say what my percentage is? 89. Looks like only three of them are missiles. Three or four. I don't remember if this game ends in 255 or 250. I think it's 250. Ridley was way worse than Nightmare. Nightmare also sucked. And so did... Um the spider boss that I forget the name of. But I think Super Metroid Ridley without various suit was, like, one of the worst things I've ever had to do in a video game. Okay, so these three planets are all totally cleared out. I don't want to go to the Valhalla yet. We're saving that for the very end of the game. And I guess we'll go here. Um, just to see what needs to be collected. I still don't want to actually make progress. Especially since Joel went to sleep.
Which would be worse without save states? Super Metroid, RBO, or Yoshi's Island DS, 100%. Uh, definitely the RBO. Yoshi's Island DS is it, it is shitty, but at least it's, like, something that was intended to be done by the developers, and it doesn't involve, like, horrible, precise glitches or surviving rooms where you're constantly losing health. It's not even really a competition. I actually forgot that I even played through Yoshi's Island DS. Thanks for reminding me. That game sucked ass. <laughs> Alright, a couple items up here, surprisingly. The hell are they? How are there so many items here? Also, what is this? Oh, Metroid Krech. I think I know what that room is. Okay, well, I guess we'll go up and check this place out. It's weird that it's 255. In Prime 1, it was 250. And in Prime 2, it was 255, but Seeker Missiles gave you 5 when you got them. And in this game, I think it's 255, and Seeker Missiles don't give you any. Ridley, Novaria without save states, or all of Yoshi's Island DS 100. Still Ridley. Ridley was fucking horrible, and I cannot think of anything that I've ever done in a game that was worse than that. The fact that other people have done that on console, like, blows my mind. I don't know how the hell you can do that. Uh, maybe in, like, the NES era, 255 is the common max capacity. It has no real reason to be in modern games unless the developers just decide to leave a number as an 8-bit integer. Again, the Conquer Lava Race, it sucked, but it was doable. It wasn't that fucking bad. Like... Kaizo save state list. Which Kaizo? Like, this, the original one on, like, Super Nintendo or Kaizo 64? Because that would also be very unpleasant. That would be a tough call, but I've never done that, so I couldn't say. Kaizo 64. Uh, I don't know. I could maybe see that being doable without it being that awful. Maybe. There were a lot of parts of Kaizo 64 that weren't actually that hard. There were a few really bad sections, don't get me wrong. But it's also been a really long time since I've played it, so I don't remember a lot of it. The line of can coins in the sand slide, I forgot about that. Okay, what the hell items are even here? Didn't I get that? I know I saw it. How did I not get that? and be too coinless. Yeah, that's a, that's a funny one. How did I seriously never get this item? I know that I saw this. That's weird. Did I, like, die and then forget to get it on the second playthrough? Yeah, Pyramid Puzzle coinless is pretty bad. I mean, I kind of wanted to do a CCC run on console at some point, and I, that would involve doing that also. That would probably be the worst part of the run. What did I miss in here? Did I not have Spider-Ball the first time I went through this? I 
guess I didn't. God, the red coin fish. I think I just got super lucky with that one. I, I guess I could just die and respawn in the pyramid, that's true. I did do Vent Shaft without Boost Ball once, but I don't actually know, like, how I did it. However, I never did Geothermal Core without Boost. That is the one part of that game that I tried to do many times and was just never able to. It's one of those things that I kind of wish I could do and would like to try again at some point, but eh. I guess I also never did uh, Life Grove. What? Okay. No, no, what, what? Was that a Zebatite? I wish I had scanned that. Can I make that respawn? I want to know what that thing was. That was a really weird mechanic, and I don't know what the hell that was. I'm not going to LP the new Super Mario Bros. games, but they are still on my list of things to play through. Because I, I have new Super Luigi U and have never played it, because I've been holding off until I go through all the other ones first. And I just keep not getting around to it. Because I still want to do, like, a bunch of other ones before I even do those. Like, I want to do three, uh, land, land two. I didn't respawn, that's lame. I kind of wanted to do the Galaxy games again, but maybe not. Uh, definitely 3D land. Although, I guess, I, I, would, do, I would do them in order, so I'd probably do... Uh, New Soup, the original and the Wii version before 3D Land. How far in the Crystal LP am I? I mean, have you been watching it or are you, or no? Because if you have, it's fairly obvious. If not, I'm about two thirds of the way through Johto. In terms of Pokedex completion, I think I just hit a hundred, so I'm. What would that be? Two fifths. Ah! What is this? No, please. Assholes. Everything dies. Oh my god, why? Am I actually that low on health? I hear, like, a warning siren, and that concerns me. No, I'm not that... What the hell was the warning siren? That was weird. Is there an atom here? No. So I needed to just head to the Metroid crash. <laughs> And I think that's it for this area. And that leads to like an elevator, so yeah. Or a train, I guess. Yeah. 
Yes, this is where I wanted to go. Thank you. Really? I've never noticed that. Oh yeah, here's the Metroid Dread scan. That's unusual that I just happened to bump into it. So, there never was a game called Metroid Dread, but I know that this was theorized to be a hint towards one. Was that ever said to be in production? I forget. I know it was at least rumored to be. I don't know if it was ever confirmed. I mean, you don't have to be emitting an orange glow. You could just be random machinery. Also, there's a lot of pirate lore that I've probably passed up because it never looks like a scan. There was exactly one bit of pirate lore that I remember reading and finding to be interesting because it's the one where the pirates basically get um, brainwashed by Dark Samus and she's like their leader. Doop, walking through an area. Roop de doop de doop. Nothing's gonna happen here. I think something's gonna happen in here. I actually don't remember for certain. Also, what the hell are these? Oh, it would have been a sequel to Fusion? That's disappointing. In the sense that it should have been made. Leg gasp. And it's one of these fuckers again. So, we all saw how awful the last fight was. Let's just not give a shit. <laughs> one shot and it's dead. I'm honestly surprised they let you do that. Yeah, that's why I wanted to fight the other one legit, because if you either, if you come in here without Nova Beam, or I guess the other one also, you could have very easily done that. Um, like, you can either, if you come in any of these areas without Nova Beam, or if you don't know of the trick, then yeah, they're really freaking awful to fight. But as soon as you know the trick exists, there's just, there, there's no reason to not use it, other than just self-challenge. Also, this appears to be leading to an energy tank. Definitely something that interests me. I think the last energy tank's on the Valhalla. I could be thinking of something else. But, uh, yeah, it looks like there's one more. I'm just making sure there was no other path here. Donk. Donk. Plump. Floof. Snag. Car. What does this do? Oh, it's actually necessary to progress, okay.
Yeah, I'm not sure why 14. Fourteen? Why not fifteen? Wow, what were they thinking? So, I think this area is cleaned out. Guess we'll see where this bus takes us. Don't really need to save, but couldn't hurt, I guess. I still like how the uh, the SpongeBob and Patrick going to the boating school episode. I don't remember, I don't remember the name of the episode. Um, I just like how that episode has one joke where the punchline is twenty five and one joke where the punchline is seventy four. If you can even call that a joke, it's just it's not even a punchline as much as it is just him saying it very stupidly. I, I don't even remember the, the setup for it. It's just like, and guess how many good noodle stars I have? 74! New student starfish, yeah, I think that's the name of it. These are the stairs of learning. <gasps> Alright, what are we doing here? Which section is this? This is just, yeah, this is the main section, isn't it? Okay. Do I, I don't have the map for this? But there's a map room right there. But there's a door of, what? Okay. I'm not seeing any missing items on the map. There's a train I've not been to, but I actually don't know if I can get in here properly. I've tried like 30 times. Um, I could go to the mining site. Let me check the map station. I swear I got that. Because wasn't that actually necessary for like progression? Like I think I got the map and then like it opened up a landing site or something. bypass the elevator. No. Maybe. Yes. Good. Music, do do, do do, do 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 do. Hold music. Yeah, I definitely got this map station. So why is there a screen that has a door that does not appear to lead to anything? That's weird. I think this is. Is this the one with like the big fuck off? metal wall that has to get blown up by the troopers. I feel like that's probably what that is. But I don't remember. Either way, um, let's go to the mining site. It sounds like something worth doing. Actually, is there even a... There's a way to fly there, right? Yeah, I can fly to the mining site. Let's do that. Because stuff here looks like progress, and I don't want to do that. 
I could spend another 20 missile or 20 minutes getting a single missile expansion. That sounds like more fun. Although, actually, I should make sure that there are items there before I bother flying there. Uh, no. No, there are not. Okay. Never mind, then. There is a train, but isn't it just the one that leads to the seed? Is it even accessible? Because I know that, like, I'll, I'll check out this room. I'll see how I do that. I think the stream might have just come to an abrupt halt, actually, because I really didn't want to do anything else major. Go away, nobody cares about you. Really? Man, these ice missiles are so helpful. Man, look at how they're working. This is exactly how long this needs to be taking. How many missiles can we spend on this? Oh my god, it actually froze. It took 25, but it finally froze. And yes, I know that I used 26, but not all of them hit, so. That was good. Yeah, I, I know I can't use the train. Um, can I even get into the room? There's like 30 different entrances to this room. And by 30, I mean five, apparently. And I feel like not a single one of them actually lets me exit. Can't get it. Yeah, I think this is like the next bit of progress anyway, because it, it, it's listing an objective instead of a room title, so. Let's immediately. <laughs> yeah, uh, the, the last. 20 minutes of the stream have probably been completely worthless. Okay, maybe not 20, more like 10. Because I'm just going to go back and save and we're going to be done here. Next time we'll actually make progress, and depending on how long the stream goes, potentially even finish the game. There's more of the game left than you might think, because there's still actually quite a bit of stuff I have to do here. And then after that, there's like the final area, and like than the actual final area, and there's many bosses along the way. So there's a good few hours of content left, but uh, I might be able to finish it. I'm not really sure. Impromptu Mario 3 playthrough. Go. No, we're not going to do that. Yeah, Twitch notifications are pretty good. So let's see, I'm missing seven items. Uh, three of them are missiles. One of them is an E-tank. Two of them are energy cells, I think. No, just one. Are the rest seriously ship missiles? Well, one of them is the final upgrade, but... Ah, uh, alright then. Also, here's my friend credit collection, or just credits in general. Um, I don't remember what the maximum number of friend vouchers is. I know it's higher than 26, though. I'm also not sure which ones I'm missing, but whatever. The ending of this stream has dragged out far enough. Let's just be done and move on with our lives and die. Unfortunately, I have to stand up to change the channel, so we end even more awkwardly than originally planned.